So, from the moment you stepped on the ice in 2016, I knew there was something special in the way you skated. It was almost effortless. You didn't have to try very hard. You were doing things from the very beginning. It made me realize that you were gonna be something special. You got on the ice and what I loved about you most, Alec, was you were always going up to everybody and trying to learn how to get better at the art of hockey. In fact, your decision to play hockey came because you loved that there were so many things you would do on the ice. You had to know how to skate, you had to know how to stick handle, you had to know how to maneuver through traffic, you didn't know how to shoot. You didn't know how to score and put the puck in certain places on the net. You loved all the different things that that made the game of hockey hockey. And when you stepped on the ice in 2016, you were you were driven to become great. You didn't even want to be good. You wanted to be great. And I lifted you up over and over and told you how great you were. And I always told you the possibilities you would have in the future if you kept working and as time went on you would move up the ranks pretty fast and I remember just in your second year third year in ice we'd look at you know second year in ice we'd look at these kids you know when you went out for travel you went out for travel very early on after doing one year of mites one year of um, being on the Bayshore Bruins you went out for travel like your third year into hockey and didn't make it but I watched all these people that you had to catch up to and you went right back to work and you became like a leader on the on the uh, team for the play against sports and I mean you were such a leader and uh, to the fact where the award for the Robert Straw Jr. Memorial Award was given to you and Coach Barrett gave that to you because you were such a leader you made the team around you better and I've seen things in you in hockey I'd never seen I seen a kid lifting up other kids I seen a work ethic I seen you never complain on the bench I seen you so joyous about the sport I seen tears in your eyes when you made the travel team when you were 12 years old 11 years old I believe I think you're 11 going on 12 yeah you made travel and you were so joyous and then we went into the travel season and you know I've given you a hard time about hockey but you know I was never given any opportunities like this in my life and I never even had a father to watch me play sports and I gave my heart and soul to you every day every hour I could to help you become a good hockey player and you had talent and you became that great hockey player we had an NHL coach from downstate, somebody who was in the NHL, wanted you to be his son's training partner. That's the ability you had. Your skating ability was off the charts. Your stick handling was coming. You didn't really understand the game your first year in your travel because you were learning, positioning. But Alec, you were gonna become unbelievable. You were gonna become something everybody around here knew about in time. And you had that opportunity and to just take all that fire and all of a sudden it just die. It just broke my heart. You know, I'm hurt. I I wanted the best for you. I want to see you succeed in something and be taught by coaches and grow up and become a young man. And, you know... To this day, I really don't have an answer why you walked away. I just want you to know I'm hurt and I haven't been the nicest to you in ways. I I want the best for you. But man, that opportunity is still there. I pray you have a change of heart one day step on the ice again. You know, it just breaks my heart that you have all the ability to be one of the highest level players in this area and you walked away and, I, and I'm trying to figure out what you walked away over we even had coach Barrett come over take you out to eat we 
We tried everything to figure out why'd you quit? We still don't have an answer. To have that much talent and walk away from a sport. I understand if you struggle and you're not doing well, but Alec, you have something special. This is what you were born to do. My prayer is that you'll understand that you were born to do this and that you will lace them up again. If you never lace them up again, I want you to know I love you. And if the Cherry Cup is our biggest experience together of you scoring that goal in that shootout to win the Cherry Cup, prayed the Cherry Cup around the ice like it was a Stanley Cup. I'm proud of you for that. I just seen so much more. I seen you being part of a state championship team. I seen you being the captain of a high school team. Alec, you were so blessed with the gift of hockey that some people will never have the chance to play at that level. Everybody I talk to says the same thing. You're not one of these kids that you talk to at school that, look, he, he walked away from the game. Why is he not being bothered? Alec, you were special. You were born to play hockey. I hope one day you realize that. I love you. I'm sorry I've been hard, if I've been hard on you. Hockey is in my heart. It's a passion of mine. And you just crushed me. There are no tears. I'm not sad. I'm just broken. I want to mend our relationship. I don't want this to come between what I think of you. I know we're not in a great place. I'm done being angry. I just want to share my heart. Among other things. Work ethic. Go to school. Get your grades. Please don't just chill in life. Find ways to relax all the time. But find something you can strive after. If it's not hockey, find something. Strive after something that's productive. That's what I'm asking for. I want to see productivity from you. You have so much ability and talent that was given to you. And I feel like you just threw it away. We could also talk about the drums. I I can't even fathom why you'd walk away from the drums. You were so gifted. You talked about how your brother was so much better than you. Alec, go back on YouTube and watch yourself. You had no instructor. You're playing Tom Sawyer. You're keeping most of the beats. And nobody taught you anything. I believe you were nine years old. Alec, your talent on drums is immense. What you were able to do, sitting behind a drum set, was beyond belief for somebody who had never had been taught anything. You're gifted, Alec. If you don't choose to go on and be a drummer, if you don't choose to go on and ever come back to ice hockey, maybe skateboarding is it. But go all out in everything you do. Find out what it is you want to go after. Chase it. Chase that dream. Chase that dream. And above all, be a good person. Be good to people. Be a team player. Be a helper. Be somebody that loves those around him. And make others better around you. I love you. I want a relationship to be mended. Please, let's come back together this holiday season. I love you.